Welcome back. We are here looking at the energy market and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, April 6, 2022. If you like support our channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our videos, videos, videos. And let's get to it. We'll start by the WTI oil. And as you can see, we did drop quite significantly today. We're down more than 2% and we are still within this wedge that I was talking about yesterday. You see that we will have a breakout from this pattern um, in the coming days. We're getting really close. So it's going to drop to the downside or it's going to rally to the upside. If it rallies, then we may see this test at 116 and probably up towards 120 and break above 120. Then this is going to go significantly higher. But there are things that are going against that and that is that it is it is kind of expected for a recession to happen both in the united states also in europe there is going to be significant monetary tightening in uh, the next um, basically years and that of course will affect demand for oil and therefore oil should drop but then there is also the war in the um, in, the, in, in the Eastern Europe, in the Ukraine, and of course that affects supply of oil. So we uh, may see a ceasefire and that will be, uh, we then see this fall off a cliff. We may go into a recession, then this will also fall off a cliff. And if we break below this line, then we may see this drop first towards the bottom of the bullish band, which is roughly 90, uh, $94.5 dollars and then 200 moving average down here at 80, 81. And that's probably as far as this market will go in the median run. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD is bearish, Stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish. So momentum, uh, considering these technical indicators, are is definitely to the downside. But we'll see what basically happens. So natural gas. Now this rallied also significantly 6.67 percent got all the way up towards 6.2 and then got rejected this is getting over bought at this point so a pullback uh, is inevitable at the point we're also reaching an area here which has been a very volatile in the past and things can basically change on a dive if uh, if the market is um, signaling a recession, then demand for this will also fall. And therefore, we may see this test at 5.5 at first, then the middle of the bullish band, 5.1, 50 moving average, 4.7, 200 moving average, 4.5, and after that, significantly lower. But this market is at the moment pricing in that demand in Europe is going to increase and therefore uh, the price will also increase. There are a lot of problems with that. Uh, Europe is definitely not prepared to um, to receive that amount of more uh, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, um, of natural gas. Uh, it doesn't really have the storage or the capacity for it. So in the long term, yes, that may be the case that this will basically increase the demand. But in the short term, no, that's not going to happen. If you look at MACD, it's still bullish. Stochastic is bullish and the RSI is also bullish, but it is overbought at this point. So pullback um, are expected when that is to be seen. But last time we got this far outside the bullish band, you can see it here, it broke down, it broke down. Also here it broke down. So it usually is a sign when it gets this overstretched and overbought that it breaks down quite aggressively. So. Hope you find this helpful. You want to support that channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. Good luck and thank you very much.